my name is Jessica Collins and for my design and technology project I made a mango seed dress. It was amazing growing up on a mango farm. I got to eat copious amounts of mangoes. <laughs> Every year there's about probably more than 5,000 kilos of mangoes that don't even make it off the farm. If there's like a dark spot, scratching, anything like that. First I would cut the cheeks off and they would be left with the pip and then after that I would go to dad's pressure cleaner and <laughs> I use that to get the rest of the flesh off and then we cut them in half. I used probably over a thousand seeds. Mum started to think I was going crazy. Hello, darling. Hello, gorgeous. How are you, sweetie? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Wishing you were home. I wish I was home too. Um, my name's Kylie Collins. So I'm uh, Sam Collins and we grow um, Calypso mangoes. Sam laughs at me, but I call it invigorating. I, I really, really love it. As soon as we bought the farm, I was about five months pregnant with Jessica. We moved into the house and basically started harvesting the next week. So it was quite a, a learning curve. Um, like all of the children have worked with us since they were little fellas. Incredibly lucky as parents to have them around on the farm where they work with us, you know, teaching them good work ethics and spending time with them. I miss the kids like mad. Um, they're meant to be home now, um, but they, they go to school in New South Wales and so none of them could come home. When she first suggested to us that she wanted to make a a ball gown style dress out of mango seeds, I was just going, are you joking? I mean, it's never been done before. We are astonished. We, I, I just can't believe how beautiful it is. In the future, I'm hoping like that it could possibly be turned into a fibre, like how cotton is. Looking at something that we could use as an alternative source of income for farmers in the region would be amazing. I really miss home. I would probably be pruning, which they're doing at the moment, sadly, without me. So it's very green and hot, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place to be.